as Liz pointed out, that CIA report is out to the former CIA director on whether anyone even checked its facts out. And, and, and who was doing that, if anyone was? James Woolsey has his doubts. Uh, White director, ambassador, good to have you. What, what are your worries here? Well, I'm uh, really concerned that uh, as a result of uh, the publication of this material, it's one thing for people to have been able to debate it in a private and a secure fashion, and I think that would have been reasonable. These are important and difficult issues. That's a big but assumption, fact, Ambassador. I, you know, well, we're, we're giving them more credit than they might deserve. Well, but... Uh, that's not what happened. What happened was with the president's concurrence, uh, the Democrats on the staff uh, on the committee uh, released this material. And that means they released it to Al Qaeda and, and ISIS. Uh, they didn't just release it to the American people. So we are helping by turning this material loose this way. We are helping the terrorists uh, figure out uh, how we operate, what information we need, and the rest. Uh, it really was a terrible decision, at least in my judgment, to uh, make this uh, material public. I'm sure you know by now that John McCain disagrees. He says that uh, if you ever want to incentivize bad guys to do bad things to us, uh, they're already doing it with or without this report. I, what do you say? I very rarely disagree with John McCain. I'm a big admirer of his, and I backed him when he ran for president, and I'd still like to see him be president, frankly, but I disagree on this point. Um, this notion that this is all of a sudden going to let a very evil genie out of the bottle, isn't it already out, though, to the senator's point? Well, uh, what, uh, it's not that the genie, if people didn't know that there was some kind of genie there. Right. Uh, what uh, this does is gives the enemy all the details because uh, uh, you can't just release the material uh, to your own side. It doesn't work that way. And that means that uh, in any kind of effort to uh, work together with foreign intelligence services, the Brits, the Germans, whatever, they're going to believe that uh, whatever they do may well be turned loose by the Americans at, uh, at any moment. Uh, makes it very difficult to get the kind of cooperation you really have to have in order to move against terrorist organizations uh, with your colleagues in other countries. Then let me pursue a point I pursued with the prior guest, Liz Cheney. Do you think that this is a way to justify cutting either the CIA budget or our overall military budget? I don't know. I think the president is inclined to cut both the CIA and the military budget, but whether this uh, is part of his thinking on this or not, I'm, I don't know. Where do you think it goes? Do you think, well, obviously, defense establishes it isn't going to be getting more money, at least from this president over the next two years. Congress will fight that, I'm sure. Well, but where's it I, going? I don't know that this is the lever, but I think that on the whole, this administration has been far too weak in funding defense and supporting uh, what we need by way of weapons programs and the uh, infrastructure and, uh, and the uh, research and development, uh, everything that the military needs in order to function. Uh, we're uh, bleeding them uh, dry, and it's a, it's a terrible situation. Ambassador Woolsey, thank you, sir. Thank you.